What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we have a new plane on the bench. It isn't new to the hobby because this plane is actually pretty old. It's like several years old. This is the version 2. It's an 800 millimeter P51 Warbird. It's not this paint scheme. We got the big beautiful doll paint scheme, which is something that I've always wanted. I actually wanted the 1450 millimeter, the big dog P51. Unfortunately, they don't make that anymore. I slept on it for too long and missed out. Maybe it'll come back out with one one day, but for now, this will have to do. I've been flying for quite a while, probably over 10 years. Um, I started out real small with the micro, you know, Horizon Hobby micro planes. And uh, back when I started, there were a few flight simulators out there, but they were very primitive. And I, I guess it did work to train your thumbs, but I kind of had to learn the old fashioned way. And uh, that was with just a small micro plane, throwing it up, uh, lots of, uh, lots of scotch tape, hot glue, foam glue after many many crashes but eventually i learned how to fly and it's something that i really love to do so today i'm going to unbox this plane we're going to pull it out we're going to build it for you and uh we're just going to give it an overall once over and a good look all right guys stay tuned all right guys so we opened it up pulled out this beautiful main wing i mean the detail on it uh, is just stunning they got great decals on there Servo's already installed. Now the fuselage. All right. Wow. This is really, really nice. So, yeah, I mean, the body, the body lines, just all the decals, everything is just, I mean, for a small plane, this plane costs about $100. It doesn't include a receiver, a transmitter, or a battery. It is a plug and play but it does come with the ESC, the motor, and all the servos, which is awesome. So, yeah, it looks really, really good. Notice one thing with the cockpit, the pilot, not sure if you could see him in there, but uh, his skin tone is pink. Not sure if they meant to do that or, uh, or what, but on the box, the picture does show the pilot and he's got a pink skin tone, so hey. No big deal. Got a little extra sunburn over the weekend. Must have been vacation in somewhere nice and warm, which it is not here. It is like January 28th. Um, it's in the 20s. It's blowing. Really strong wind today. So we're kind of stuck inside. Unfortunately, I won't get to fly this plane today, but I am going to build it for you. And I'll put a link up top so you can see the flight video. And I'm hoping to get this thing out in the next day or two. So yeah, there is your elevators. One for each side. Right. What else we got here? Yeah, there you go. There's your main landing gear. They come pre-assembled. Looks like they just click right in, which is awesome. What else do we got in here? We got the drop tanks. Probably won't be flying with those. I usually don't like to put any of the ordnance or, or tanks on. I like to keep it streamlined and... Uh, Keep this thing flying nice but i'm sure it'll still fly great if you did put these on so that's not a big deal so there's two of those there and i guess i got some hardware down here this is what they give you as far as hardware um we got a couple uh they got a uh a two-way in there a splitter yeah just uh some of the little screws we're going to put all those tabs on the control surfaces um, you're going to have to, I guess, add the servo rod to one of the servos or maybe both. That's probably, probably the ailerons underneath, but yeah, this is awesome. All right, guys. So I don't want to bore you with the build. I'm sure some of you guys are, um, are pilots already and, and know how to fly really well and just kind of looking at this thing to see if it's worth it and i really do think it is worth it i mean for the price you know you can't even get a micro plane for a hundred dollars nowadays and this is uh this is going to be a pretty decent sized plane definitely two or three times the size of a micro so really awesome if you guys uh you know are just new to flying maybe you want to step up from a micro plane uh to a low wing warbird this would be perfect yeah this is awesome 
So, all right, guys, let me put some parts on and we'll get back to you in just a few minutes. All right, guys, we're back. We got it built. It did not take too long at all. Probably took me about an hour and that included soldering on a new plug to the ESC. So it was pretty straightforward, real easy. Uh, you two elevator pieces back here are the only two pieces that need a little bit of foam glue on them while you're installing that. Um, it did not come with glue. Um, I did have some laying around from other builds, so I was lucky uh, enough to have some here. But if you don't have any foam glue, uh, I would suggest picking some up before you start this build so you don't get jammed up halfway through. But all in all, I mean, it was super simple. It's a beautiful plane. I mean, it's not big, but this doll is beautiful, that's for sure. Um, everything seems pretty pretty good. Everything came out of the box, no problems whatsoever. Uh, nothing seemed damaged. Everything was hooked up correctly. Um, I seen a few reviews, some guys saying the ESCs weren't hooked up to the motor, something that they had to do. Um, for me, it was. I did notice that the ESC does slide back a lot, and that's where the battery goes, right towards the front. So I did have to slide that down, and there's a little spot right underneath the prop here where it's going to get some air flow and keep that ESC cool. So you want to make sure you push that down inside there. Um, what I did, I picked up two Gen Zace 1345C batteries they did come with the ec3 plug on there which is normally what i use on my planes so this had a jst plug i had to remove that and solder on uh, a new ec3 which was pretty simple so that's pretty much it i mean i will put some links down in the description below for the batteries i'm also using a spectrum ar400 four channel receiver uh, that I bound to my old school DX8. Some of you new guys out there, they don't look like this anymore. A little bit, the antennas are different and they have a lot more features on them. But I mean, this remote can hold, I believe it's 30, 30 models. So eight channel, you could do a lot with this. I have all of my planes are on this one transmitter right here. So let me fire it up for you guys. Hopefully it don't shoot off the table. Let's see what happens. So I already bound it up, power on my transmitter, plug this battery in. Plays this little tune. I'm not going to hit the elevator too hard. That glue might still be drying. You want to check your control surfaces, make sure everything's moving in the right direction. Um, <clears throat> if you do have one of these remotes, I strongly suggest setting your throttle cut to one of your switches. What that does, if you're new to flying, basically, since my throttle cut is on, nothing happens and this thing's not going to shoot off the table if you hit it by accident, which I've done. So make sure that's that's enabled if you do have that feature. And just like that, this big, beautiful doll wants to take to the skies. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to leave links down in the description below for everything I used here. The Gen Zace batteries, I'm going to put a link for the Spectrum AR400 receiver in there. And I'm also obviously going to put a link for this plane, which I think is a great, great deal coming in. I think it's $102.99. Then you'd have to buy at least one battery, anywhere from $15 to $20. And then if you don't already have a transmitter receiver, you could pick one up for a lot less money um, than splurging on the big dog Spectrum. But I do recommend using a, a name brand high-end transmitter receiver combo if you could but there are some inexpensive brands out there that do just as good of a job so if you guys want to save a few dollars you know you can go with a less expensive model but like i said if you're going to get into flying a remote like this you could put 20 30 planes on there 
instead of having a, a slew, a, a box of remotes laying all over the place, one for each plane if you get the ready-to-fly versions. But, yeah, guys, this plane is really awesome. Uh, definitely going to be flying this really soon. Uh, if you're watching this video and it's brand new, it just came out in the last day or two, unfortunately, there's no flight review. But as soon as the wind dies down in the next couple of days, I'm going to take this thing out. I'm probably going to fly it without the landing gear. Just hand launch it and belly land it into the into the grass nice and lightly. Um, best part about this is you can fly this thing almost anywhere. Not really a backyard flyer, unless some of you guys got tremendous backyards with not too many trees in the way, then this would work for you in your yard. Otherwise, just a uh, an open field, um, you know, a sports field at your local school. This is perfect, perfect size to fly. So again, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you're looking to help out the channel, uh, check out our eBay store. It's the RC Outlaws store on eBay. We have some shirts. We have adult sizes, children sizes. We're going to have a couple of different versions popping up. We do have masks with our logo on the front. Um, everything is pretty inexpensive, include shipping. So check us out if you want to help out the channel a little bit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see some more, we're going to be doing a ton of RC content crawlers racing drag racing on road off road flying builds you name it we got it all coming to you guys so hit that like button if you really enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more of my videos that are going to be popping up really really soon and that's pretty much it guys we really appreciate you guys tuning in and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks see you